this is Stranger from Indie MMO and today I'll show you how to make a dynamic spawn point that can be placed anywhere in the game world and can be used to spawn any kind of actor, for example an enemy with a respawn timer. We will start out with a brand new Unreal Engine project and we will create two enemy NPCs that we will later spawn using our spawn point. So let's start by right clicking the third person character, choosing duplicate and renaming this enemy NPC1. Then we will duplicate it again and rename this enemy NPC2. Next we will open this blueprint up, go over to the mesh area, choose the viewport so we can see what we're doing, and go over to the right side here to the material section and choose a different material, something like the water for example, just so we can differentiate between the two NPCs once they are spawned. Then we'll just save this, compile and close this back up. Next we will right click in the content browser, choose blueprint class, search for target point, click on it and click select and we'll rename this spawn point. and save. Now we can just drag the spawn point out into the world and when we are done we can use this to spawn enemy units of any kind we want. We can just hold down the alt key and drag this arrow here to duplicate it and duplicate it again and now we have three spawn points in the world that we can later use to spawn different kind of enemies with different spawn timers. Next we will open up the spawn point blueprint, jump over to the event graph, remove this one, we don't need it. Right click in the graph and type in spawn AI from class. And we hook this up here. And what this does is when this spawn point is created, it will spawn an enemy from our chosen class at the chosen location. Next we will right click this node here, choose promote to variable and rename it class to spawn. Then we will go over here and expose it so that we can change this in the editor later in order to easily change what class we want to spawn from that particular spawn point. After that we will need to get the location which will be the location of the actual spawn point. So we will just right click and type in get actor location and hook it right up to location. Now the class we choose to spawn will spawn at the location of the spawn point. Next we will right click the return value and choose promote the variable. This will be the unit that is spawned. So we will rename it spawned unit. After that we will set up the respawn function so that if this enemy dies it will respawn after a set amount of time. We will hold down the B key and click on the events graph to create a branch 
we will hook this up to the branch and then we will drag out the spawned unit choose get drag this node out and type in is valid after that we will just hook this up to the condition here so that if the spawned unit is no longer valid it will move on to the rest of the respawn function and is valid just checks if the unit still exists or if it's alive and this will happen every tick which is several times a second after that we will drag out the false node here and type in delay and this will be our respawn timer or the time it will take for a unit to respawn after it has been destroyed so we will right click the duration here choose promote the variable and rename this respawn timer after that we will have to call the respawn function but we don't have one yet so we will set that up right now right click on the event graph and type in custom event and rename it respawn then we will hook this up to the spawn AI from class now with that done we can call the respawn function here and just before I forget we need to expose the respawn timer as well just to make sure we can edit it later and just to go over this quickly again when the spawn point is created it will spawn a class and the class we will choose later then this instance of the class will be called the spawned unit and every tick several times a second it will check if the spawned unit still exists and if it still exists nothing happens however if it has been destroyed it will get a false value here and move on to the respawn timer which will then count down the time until it will respawn a new unit at the same spawn point so with that done we just save this and compile it and jump back into the editor now we need to do one final thing to both enemy NPCs so open them up delete all this right click and type in begin play after that drag this out type in delay and drag this out and type in destroy actor so what this will do is once the enemy is spawned it will wait a set amount of time let's put in three seconds and then it will be destroyed this is just to demonstrate the respawn function of the spawn point so save this compile and let's do the same thing for the other one remove this type in begin play drag this out delay set it to let's set this one to two seconds and drag this out and type in destroy actor save and compile and jump back into the editor so now what we can do is choose what class to spawn at each of the three spawn points and what their respawn timer will be as you can see on the right side here 
it's currently set to none and 0.2 seconds we will change that to an MEM PC1 and 4 seconds choose the next spawn point change it to enemy mpc2 and one second and choose the third one and change it to enemy mpc1 again and let's put this one to three seconds and now if we jump in to the game we will see that they destroy themselves after a set amount of time and then they respawn after a set amount of time and they will just keep doing this forever and ever now normally you wouldn't have them self-destruct but you would be able to kill them so they would be respawning after they had been killed that's it for today and i hope you found this useful